Okay, so in this video, I wanna show you how to install a pedestal sink. Now, a lot of times this is gonna take you more time and a little bit more difficulty to install than a traditional vanity, but I wanna give you some tips on how to make this easy on yourself so you have an easy installation. So let's get to it. Okay, so demo, I usually like to get the vanity and the tour that out of here first thing so we have some room to actually work. Just definitely shut the water off at the main because any of these valves are not gonna be trustworthy. Uh, most likely they're gonna leak. So turn off the water to the main house and then we can go ahead and just remove our valves and our sink here. So just to tell the full story of this pedestal sink installation, this was just much more than just removing a vanity and putting in a pedestal sink. It actually went into removing all of the walls in this bathroom along with the floor. And as you can see, these are these old mud bed walls that are about an inch and a half thick of mortar with this really thick metal lath behind. And as you can see, there's just an enormous amount of debris and effort to remove all of this. So if you're getting into something like this, definitely check out my course. I step you step by step, start to finish of doing this entire bathroom remodel so that you can be prepared when you're actually doing the bathroom remodel and knowing what you're getting into. Because there is a lot of things in these older bathrooms that could take you by surprise. And if you're prepared for it, you'll be able to get things, overcome it and, and efficiently get things done. So we'll show you the plumbing next, but this is just kind of what the bathroom looked like before and we're gutting everything down. Okay, so we're gonna be refinagling this plumbing. Main reason is, is because I'm converting to a tub over here, or to a shower. And you need a two inch drain all the way down to the main waste stack. So this is our toilet flange, this is cast iron. Obviously you can see this is uh, copper here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our cast iron right at the main portion here before the hub. And then we're going to connect with a fern co and reroute our plumbing. So we're going to get rid of all of this copper, including our vanity drain and then the existing tub drain. So, all right. So what we're going to do is first cut the cast iron pipe. And what I like to use are these torch blades. So this is a heavy metal blade and is really great for cutting plumbing like this. So let's get the copper off first. And we'll go ahead and cut our cast iron. I'm sorry, that one. Okay. So we're gonna put a new, we're gonna attach to this existing vent. So let's go ahead and cut our galvanized piping here. So when you get to this level of a bathroom renovation, it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to leave the existing water supplies. When you have everything opened up like this, I think it's just best to replace all of this and use PEX. PEX is very easy to install, not very expensive, and you'll be able to accurately put your water supplies where you need them for a pedestal sink and any other fixture for that matter. So it takes a little bit of extra time, but at the end of the day, you're gonna have a much more sound bathroom remodel if you replace those water supplies and know that they're going to be you know leak free for uh, quite a long time So I might not get that roll. Okay, so as long as I can stay pitched as well, yeah, I should be all right. If I have that straight up against there, that'll pitch well. Okay. 
you see anything I'm doing on here. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and glue these two main fittings together because it'll be just easier to do it down here. So this is considered a long sweep 90, so it'll be on its side here. So this basically is now about 19 and a half off the floor, but uh, we're gonna have you know, three quarter inch plywood and then tile. So we'll be right about uh, 18 and three quarter, 19 inches off of the, the main bathroom floor, which is actually a, a pretty good height for most uh, pedestal sinks for that matter. Between, between 18 and 20 inches, it's usually a good height for your vanity. center of this drain 46 46 okay so I just wanted to double check where my center is on this make sure I got blocking which is already has existing blocking which is great because most of these pedestal sinks that's the way they anchor into the wall so you always have to make sure there's like a two by six or something here the other thing I wanted to pay attention to was the height of my my valves and this particular model recommends 10 inches from the top of my, uh, basically from the top of my, my finished sink area, so about 10 inches. So we'll be able to basically install these things. Yeah, we'll, we'll just spread them out, have a six inch spread on those valves so that we can connect it to our sink faucet. So that'll work out well. Okay, so for our valves, 10 inches from the top of where our pedestal sink is, the recommendation. So we're gonna use this little strap system to help hold this in place. So we just wanna make sure that we're basically gonna have eight inch centers on our valve. Actually, it wouldn't be bad to have six inch. Let's go six inch, so it's a little bit tighter. So we'll go in these two holes here, and then basically this just slides right in. So this one's about right where we need it. So let's get this on here first. Okay, so one thing, um, when I was doing my plumbing, we had very limited room to get my plumbing where I needed it. So when I go off my rough and framing, I'm about 13 and a half inches. So it's not exactly ideal. 
I'm gonna fur out this wall a little bit just to bring this out so that I don't have as much gap behind the toilet. So if I had three quarter and, an, and a half inch, it'll be 12, it'll basically be like 12 and a quarter to the center, which will be more of a reasonable distance for your toilet. But at the end of the day, bringing this out isn't gonna be any big deal. The only one thing I'm gonna have to do is move my box out. Okay, so finishing up the plumbing so that you can get your pedestal sink in. Uh, I would say most of the time you're just going to want to use an inch and a quarter adapter to inch and a half uh, female fitting so that you can bump that out of the wall a little bit. It all depends on your own situation. Obviously, we had to shim out this wall, so we needed a little bit of an extension uh, to go into our sanitary tee. So it all depends on your own situation, but most of the time having a female adapter going to inch and a quarter works great. You can also use inch and a half if you prefer to have the bigger drain, but pedestal sinks really is up to you. Most of the drain assemblies that are coming out of your sink drains are inch and a quarter, so you can continue that all the way in. But we'll get into that a little bit later, but you're basically just gluing this into place. And then what I really like to use for my shutoff valves are the shark bite type of uh, press on fittings. I think it really works out great because you can eliminate all the copper look. Just put on your discussion plates first and then use your depth gauge to be able to gauge where you need to cut the pipe so that when you slide on the shark bite, it's uh, fully engaged, but then it also is not revealing any of the copper, which makes it look like a nice chrome valve. So really simple, easy, quick uh, installation. Okay, so make sure that's level, centered, and we can go ahead and mark our... Why do they have to make it so freaking... They really do make it like impossible to get in there. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. Okay, so pilot hold this. These guys, the best way to go about this is just to thread on your caps. And use the driver bit. Apparently the bolts are getting weaker these days. You used to be able to just do that. Staying level with the bolts there. Not too bad. Okay, so before we mount that, we're going to put on our faucet. So this is one of the easiest types of faucets to install. So just a single handle. This guy, this is the reason it's so easy because it already has a rubber gasket on it and this is just a push in lever. So no need for silicone, no need to try to get the lever to work. Just slide it on, just hand tighten this and that's all there is to it. Okay, so once you have your faucet installed, you can go ahead and set it into place. I would just advise putting the bolts on, um, but not uh, fastening completely to the wall because you're gonna need a little bit of room so you can prop it up on the pedestal and connect all of your plumbing. It's really tough to connect your plumbing with the pedestal in place, so that's kind of why I, I prop it up, hold it to the side, do all my plumbing, test it make sure you fill up your sink as well make sure that nothing is leaking and then you can put the pedestal into place and then fasten everything to the wall that really is the easiest and best way to go um, and then uh, once you uh, you can then you can fasten everything tightly to the wall now there is an option that you could uh, fasten your pedestal to the floor as well i didn't do that in instance i don't do it in most situations but if you're wanting to fasten that pedestal into the floor you can do that as well Okay, so we'll just make sure we mark where this at, see if make sure this doesn't go too far in. So that's not too bad. We can leave that the way it is.
So I hope this demonstration has helped you out and gave you some tips and some ways to go about installing a pedestal sink. It really comes down to the planning and preparation, which is also why I created this course. If you're doing a full bathroom remodel, I really implore you to check this out. I'm basically converting a tub to a walk-in shower. We go through all the plumbing, electrical, framing, drywall, all the steps that it takes, all in a very easy step-by-step -step fashion. So check out the curriculum. You'll be able to see how much is actually involved with this, and I'm sure it'll make you more efficient at doing your own bathroom remodel. So thanks so much, and uh, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.